guys, it's Taylor. Thanks for joining my channel if you're new and thanks for coming back if you're a subscriber. Today is my first voiceover, so let me know in the comments how it sounds. Let's jump into this look. So I wanted to do the bridal look um, number two and we're using the e.l.f. primer again. I did end up switching off of that primer to the Morphe when it came to the actual engagement photo shoot I was getting ready for. This was a practice run. I'm setting that primer with RCMA powder. I'm using Wet n Wild Micro Brow Pencil for the first time. I will say I actually really like it. This, it was only about $4.50 from Ulta Beauty. I always take a while on brows <laughs> so I'm gonna speed this up a little let's jump into setting our eye and getting ready for our eye look I finally tried out the P Louise eyeshadow base um, Nikki tutorials finally sold me on it um, she's been using it forever and I just wanted to see if it was worth all the hype or not this was my very first time using it so I'm gonna give it a couple more goes before I give my official opinion on if it's worth it or not so I do want to go ahead and um, use the lightest shade. I did get a couple different shades, but since the look I was going for was a brighter nude at the base, I wanted something that would, you know, accentuate that brightness. So I went with one of the lighter shades of the base that I bought. And I'm starting from the out, um, outer colors to the inner colors. I know usually I go backwards from what I just said. I start on the inner colors and go outer, but just wanted to switch it out and see how I liked it. I actually ended up really liking that method. And I am using the Jaclyn Hill palette um, volume two. I really, really like the palette. I know I am stuck on Morphe, but I am trying so hard to try new things, but I was actually really in a hurry just to get this engagement shoot done that I grabbed something that I know would meet my needs and the needs of spring colors coming up. And it had all of it in one, so please don't hate me. I do really like it. Um, I know Jacqueline <laughs> has a couple of things not everybody's liking but I gotta say I like the palettes that she has so and this of course retails for the $39 that Morphe palettes standardly usually go with let me say usually go with I don't know if that's the standard or not but for all that you get I think it's a good deal This color I'm using to deepen the crease is G Money. And I use the lightest matte color in the palette for the base of my eye here. Where I later will, you'll see me go back and add the shimmer on top of this. And of course, we're just blending it out. So I did add more of the base because I felt like it was so matte that I really wanted the shimmer to pick up. Since I wasn't doing like a foil or a metallic, really, but literally like a shimmer. Um, I believe it's called Diamond Dust in the palette. I really like the effect it gives. It's like a subtle shimmer that almost looks wet 
in transition. So I'm applying that now. As you can see, it's not an exact bright and bold shimmer. <clears throat> Excuse me, the reason I'm doing a voiceover today is because I'm still battling allergies, so. And you will see me sort of blend out this crease because I did not want to cut crease. That was not the intention. I just wanted to make sure that it was going to pick up the color I was going to use by applying more of that eyeshadow primer. And the point I wanted to really focus on was just making my eyes pop. I have um, sort of small slanted eyes and my eye color is, you know, a dark brown, almost black looking. So I wanted to do what I could to make sure that they pop. And what I just held up there was the new color pop highlight sticks. I was looking into multiple options for the highlight sticks. And I just couldn't help but pass up trying out Color Pops because they were only $8 each, which all of the other options I were looking into were not. Um, so I wanted to try this out first and see if it actually accomplished what I really wanted. So as you can see, I highlighted my standard highlight zones, but I also um, went right up under my eye line before I applied concealer. And I just wanted to see if that would help the whole effect I was going for. I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I also did try to find a new drugstore foundation. I swear to you, I was in Ulta for over an hour. And um, the a couple other options I found, either one, all came in a Dewey, or two, the sample tester was like, for um, NYX, can't stop the little pump. All of the testers pump was broken so I couldn't test it and then I thought to myself why would I buy something if all all 10 or all whatever how many um, of these testers are not working why would I buy this to take it home and potentially not have it work for me there so I just left it alone I also was gonna try L'Oreal infallible um, but the color that I needed was sold out I literally was like everybody's gonna think I'm lying but I swear I did try to go with something new but also this is my you know wedding pictures so I didn't want to go too far out there I wanted to go with something that I heard was really good or something that I knew would give me the benefit of what I needed which was picture ready face um so I had to stick with Maybelline Fit Me which I did miss I transitioned off of them a while ago and went off to Morphe um for some reason, Morphe still isn't working out too much for me. Let me shut up about the foundation because we've missed a couple steps here. So I used ColourPop Concealer, which I've been using for a while, so that's why I didn't really point that out. Um, I'm using Stila to sort of outline the eyeliner, but I did go back with Maybelline's Dip Pot Pomade um, eyeliner to go over it because it just gets way more black with that. Um, I do have a new liquid eyeliner I'll be testing out for you guys soon that I got in my February Ipsy bag. I'm really excited about. Um, I'm doing the trick I learned from Jackie Ina and letting my concealer sit there a little longer. It's supposedly supposed to seep into those creases and give you a better payout of your concealer application. So while I'm doing that, I went ahead and did my eyeliner. I went ahead and started my contour, actually finished my contour, and then we're going to blend out that highlight section. I really liked the highlight sticks from ColourPop that I used under my eye and in my regular highlighting zones. Um, the camera payoff might not show up too well. But I really saw a difference, and for $8, you can't beat that, which I'm applying more of right now. Hold 
don't know if you caught that, but that shimmer there is way more noticeable in person. I really suggest trying those out if you like it. I am going to highlight my nose because I really wanted that wet but not wet look and it to be very skin-like. Going a little lighter in the inner corner just to get that effect I was talking about to make my eyes really pop. I'm going to set really quick with RCMA because this was again a test run. Um, on the actual day of the shoot I did bake a little bit with Morphe's setting and baking powder in the color Banana Rich. I added a pop of highlight under the brow for this look because it just was going to help the overall brightness um, in dewy but not dewy skin effect. Since I am an all matte girl, if I want to achieve a dewy look, I have to do that by using a metallic or a highlight type of product. Um, I cannot go dewy. It just ends up being an oily mess on me. Um, which is so ironic because I used to be completely dry skinned, but the older I get, the more my T-zone and overall look ends up being quite oily. I'm using my Tarte Glow Palette to go over all of those highlight zones. I did a white and a cream high, um, my cream nude highlight uh, on my waterline. And this is just like an NYX pencil. And then I'm putting powder on the actual eyeliner portion. I didn't want anything too harsh. I'm adding back that inner corner highlight with the Tarte Glow Palette. I'm using NYX Downtown Beauty to line my lips. I will say I wish I went a little deeper brown with this and I think I ended up, ended up using a brown liquid lipstick to achieve the darker brown that I wanted. I added a little bit of my hair styling to this tutorial as well since I've been doing some practice on my wig applications instead of just having two separate videos I just threw ahead I just went ahead and left this together since it was honestly done at the same time and edited this new wig to my head and my hairline. I really really like this new wig. I wanted long hair, something that's going to resemble the day of hair for my wedding day. Um, my favorite wig review YouTuber, her name is Kai Rashan. Go give her a follow. She introduced me to this. She does wig reviews like every single day. It's complete crazy, like craziness how often she posts them. Like she is dedicated. And I really, really like this. It was only $50. It's a synthetic wig and it doesn't look it. It doesn't feel it. And it was the best um, pre-plucked hairline I've ever gotten, which it that's both for human or synthetic. Um, I did not have to do a lot of work like they really took care of this also with the whole coronavirus going on I did want to point out that this came to me from Illinois and it only took about three days shipping so I don't really think it came from overseas um, which most wigs do I've noticed so I just wanted to point that out um, I really really like it this was just like a quick little application I did do some more the morning of the shoot and I, I can't say enough about it I mean it was only 50 bucks like 47 literally so I don't think you can complain about that at all it achieved the look I was going for I know that much the 
looks like I can't find my razor to cut the baby hair and I should have edited this out. Sorry guys, so let's chat. How was your day? How was your week? How was your weekend? I am looking forward to getting back to my 200% energy where I'm able to accomplish everything in one day because I haven't been able to do that for you guys. So I'm a little slow on my uploads. I know. I promise I'll be back there soon. My allergies tried to take me out. <laughs> so I was, this was the first time I've actually glammed in like two weeks. And it felt good. So I'm going to switch out this lip. Um, I did have this new lip gloss that I bought while I was at Ulta. And then when I was doing my hair, I was like, why are my lips tingling? So I finally read the box and it was actually a plumping lip gloss. Your girl does not need any plumping. She has naturally plump lips. So I took that off and I applied my Honey Love in the brown liquid lipstick you just saw. I can't remember what brand that is. It's almost gone and I need a new one. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time. So don't stay.